what is up you guys it's me melly mel back again hello for another video okay i don't know what all that's for but like i explained in my other video if you haven't seen that please go check it out i just moved in to my new place so i figured this would be the perfect time to kind of go over my body care um collection it's um body care not just from bath and body works just like anything to do with my hygiene stuff anything to do with you know the body in general i just wanted to kind of um put my little collection out there to let y'all know that um even though yes i have just found this lane in youtube i have always been a body care body hygiene kind of girl i love to smell good I, it makes me feel better to be clean and smelling good so that's always been my lane so i kind of wanted to show you guys um what i've been working with for a minute um i do plan on doing haul videos i have so many oh packages to get through um that i definitely plan on uploading first i wanted to get a basis of what i got right now so when i do the um haul videos or whatever i'm just going to be adding to my collection so hang on to y'all seats and let's get into it y'all okay y'all so this is my setup in my room right now um i just kind of quickly set this up right now well not right now like over the past few days i've been moving in i like where it's at right now in my room and it's pretty much gonna stay like this so up top i have all of my perfumes and body mist i am a lover of sunflower if you don't know that you will find that out soon enough but i am totally in love with the golden sunflower um smell from bath and body works so i had to get the the parfum of it i love it i don't touch it this is literally just for um decoration but i have it in here it's so untouched it's like one of my prized possessions but the little cute bottle oh god it's so beautiful okay so to keep this for decoration i love the box like i just cannot even get over the box of it all it's just so pretty like i love it and as you can see ugh, I got two of these sprays like I love it it's that's my signature scent like golden sunflower it is amazing I love it so much I kind of don't want to go over every single thing but I have a lot from Bath and Body Works um I love Bath and Body Works I'm always getting smell look this one I've done used gave to my older sister she used it and she didn't want it anymore so she gave it back but honey i'm going to use all of this i love little black party dress i love all of these smells twilight woods i know it looks like i use it so much but i still don't know if i even really like this smell it's so weird like i use it as a whatever smell if i just need a smell to get out the door bore bore citrus surf love the underwater oasis underwater oasis i love that line the papaya co gingham is literally one of my faves i use this so much girl like this is out i need to definitely get more you're gonna see how much i love 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 gingham gingham is my second favorite smell from bath and body works that i just got got for pink chiffon this is definitely an og for me i will always have that smell in my collection sunwatch citrus i do love citrusy smells I have in the stars this was gifted to me and i don't use it super often it's a lot in there i don't use it super often but i do enjoy the smell of it it smells pretty good almond blossom I have gotten recently, haven't used it that much, but I actually do really like this smell. It goes really good with the uh, almond milk soaps and stuff that I have, so it pairs really good with that. Like I said, my OG golden sunflower, like that's my smell, y'all. Like, soon we'll find out, like, I'm addicted to sunflowers, like, that's my smell. Golden sunflower, I have this pretty huge base of my flowers. Like, I love the fake flowers, flowers that I might care, but. As you can see, the sunflower gig. You're the one. Love, love, love this smell. Love, love, love this packaging. I've had this for a while and I use it a lot. Like, it's so beautiful. I love this fragrance so much. And yeah, that's all from Bath and Body Works. I have this honey mist um, from Pink. I love this smell of this honey um, line that they have. I have Rose Jam um, I got from Lush. I do love Lush products too. Um, this doesn't have that much in there because I've used it to hell. I, got, I think I got that like a summer ago, last summer, but I love that one. I have this Kim K uh, perfume. I was gifted this. Um, it doesn't have that much in there, but I was gifted this and it smells really like romantic and grown and sexy. I like that. This is a, a smell that I got from Lush. I believe it's called Turmeric Latte from Lush. And it's just in this little bottle because my sister actually bought it and 
she let me have some and it smells so dang good it smells so good i love it this is from bath and body works too uh forest i actually love this smell i know it says it's for men collection but it's so strong and it just smells really really good that's all i have for my perfumes right now eventually i'm going to have this entire kind of rack filled um because i love perfumes my face stuff a few face items in here i love this hemp oil i am a lover of hemp hemp anything so i got this hemp oil from um truly beauty and i love truly beauty like they're freaking awesome it's just the face serum the brand butter i saw it on amazon and i really wanted to try it and it's black owned i am a big believer in black owned stuff and i really wanted to try it but i honestly don't think it did too much for my face i didn't get the effects that i wanted but i still tap into that from time to time ordinary i got the caffeine solution i put underneath my eye got this at the dollar tree this little under eye serum i've only used it a couple times i really didn't see too much effect but what if so this tea tree clear skin um face serum again from the dollar tree dollar tree dollar tree this is a facial brightener i also got from dollar tree a little argan oil just to put on the face um a little uh, vial of this first aid beauty um and it's oat and cannabis sativa oil like i said i love hemp something about hemp oils and smells i just love this rose hip oil with vitamin e so it's for face and body oil i got this tree hunt um skin balancing toner cucumber and chamomile i got this from i believe i got this from burlington this i love fenty skin as you can see i love fenty skin I unfortunately ran out of fat water, so I just put this serum in there. This is just more of this uh, skin balance serum, but I love how it just, you know, for the thing, you open it and just pour some on my hands, slap it on my face, and I'm good to go. I just love the packaging. Fenty Skin, girl. I love Fenty Skin. I have the moisturizer the with the SPF. I had originally bought the travel size one, the small ones for 40 bucks, and I ended up buying the full size, obviously, because I fell in love, so... There's that. I use this baby, baby dove sensitive skin lotion for my face. Um, I just don't like to use too much, lo too many different kind of lotions, anything for my face. So I've been using that for a few months, and I've actually been enjoying it. I believe the blue thing. Uh, this is astringent. Uh, this is witch hazel. This is low concoction of lotions that I mixed together before I bought the dove that I would put on my face. I haven't used that in a while. Um, this is my aloe vera. I put that on sometimes before I go to sleep to just help with acne sometimes. It helps smooth out my skin, the texture of my skin. A little Vaseline. I got this Dr. Bronner's Organic Magic Balm, which I really do enjoy. Um, I put it on my face sometimes, you know, just to keep my face moisturized when I sleep. I have the Fenty Skin. Um, that's the night cream. I don't use that too often because it did end up breaking me out a bit. So I just have it, but I don't really use it too much. If I need something super moisturized when I sleep, I just go for the organic balm. Oh, and I have this triple antibiotic uh, ointment here because I put that on my pimples sometimes when I break out. Um, it does help. Super hydrate and glow face oil. I believe this was just um, one of those free things you get from Sephora when you purchase. It was just a free little thing. I plan on using it. I just haven't settled into use it's just this little vial of oil but i haven't used it so it's there facial shea butter from butter i wanted to like this because it's black owned and i've heard really good things about it online but it just didn't give me the effects that i wanted so so that's my face stuff that i'm actively kind of using here for my face next row i have my lotions and body butters as you can see i love the body butters honey I'm a big person for body butters. I just love the thickness and consistency. So it was only right to just have a cute little body butter collection. Uh, Truly Beauty. I really love Truly Beauty. Um, This is the whipped body butter, the unicorn fruit. Love how this smells. It came in this beautiful kind of like cream rainbow mixture. It's so beautiful. Like it's beautiful. I love it. So Truly Beauty be doing their thing. Green coconut and activated charcoal body jelly moisturizer. I've used this a few times and it's not too bad. It's just a jelly um, with little beads in there. There's that, I do like it. I got this Dove cream oil. I love, this is my favorite kind of lotion. Like these cream oils from Dove are amazing. I love them. So this one is just the coconut one, I believe. Yeah, I love this one. And I ended up getting the mango and almond butter one. 
because I love the consistency of this. So I ended up just going crazy. So I kind of got the mango one. Oh, I have some uh, little shea butter wafer, natural shea butter, uh, little wafers that I use. I used to use a ton, um, but I don't use them so, mo so much anymore because I got so many other options. But I used to use one of these little, um, little shea butter wafers, these organic uh pressed wafers and i would just mix them in or just melt it on my skin this is a bag i have with all of my uh stuff for my hair like my bonnets and stuff <laughs> to put on at night but i do have the saint ives soothing uh oatmeal and shea butter body lotion i love this lotion this is also one of my go-to's if um, i don't feel like the cream oil i'll probably just slide this over and get it popping on my skin this is a mixture of different things different oils you can see um i really don't even remember all that's in it i haven't touched this in a while but i put it in a little spray bottle just to spray it on my hands and rub it on my body just to make it super easy from pink this oat lotion this oatmeal and coconut oil um soothing body lotion i love this i haven't used it too much had it for a few months but i do like it um the consistency and the smell are amazing this ram pure this lavender and honey body lotion i got this on a whim because i love i love honey scents so when I saw lavender and honey, I was just like, okay, that's something I want to get. But honestly, I'm not too big and the, the price, obviously. But I'm not too much of a fan of the um, consistency of it. I don't know if it's too watery for my liking or something. It's just not something I reach for often. But if I'm using something honey, I probably will. This I love so much. I don't know why I made that noise. I lo 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 love True Blue Spa, something I had gotten into um bath and body works it's the bath bath and body works brand i got into this the last semi-annual sale and i was so slow to this like i never heard of the heard about this line at, at bath and body um until then and i fell in love with this i just got the regular shea butter the super rich this stuff is so creamy and thick and oh my gosh moisturizing i love it like this next um sas sale semi-annual sale honey i am packing in with these true blue spots okay so here's the body butters i got this uh mini whipped lotion for you're the one. Oh my god i love this smell you're the one is so amazing so i definitely had to get the whipped lotion you know it kind of has sparkles in it and the packaging is so beautiful but this one was a mini so you know i try to use it spare sparingly i ended up purchasing a bigger tub of it i do got the mini on deck because honey I'm going to collect the entire You're the One line. She's beautiful. I love it. She's a keeper. <laughs> so for from Tree Hut, I got the Tropical Mango Body Butter. Uh, I got this Moroccan Rose Body Butter. And this um, Exotic Bloom Body Butter. Of course, Shea Butter, Hemp Seed Oil, and Lavender. I'm not too big of a fan of these. I honestly ended up mixing these body butters, the Tree Hut tree hut ones i ended up putting most of them together in this golden um one i like to mix some of my products so to you know like lengthen them out so i ended up you know mixing all three of them putting them in this golden one this is actually a mixture as well of different body butters that i have these are just mixtures of other lotions and oils i put together and put them in there i think everybody you know has some of this dove intensive cream it's wonderful honestly when i don't know like what smell i'm going with or anything i just plop some of this on and go it has a nice clean smell and it's i love the formula it's awesome but i'm almost out of this i don't know if i'll repurchase it because i have so many other butters but this definitely is something worth trying out because it, it is wonderful. I do like it. <laughs> True Blue, I had to get some mango butter, honey. I got that when I got the other one, the shea butter. But mango butter, I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's any much of a difference. And I mix this in with those two concoctions as well. It's mango butter. <laughs> and again, the consistency of it is so great and lovely. Next, I have this body yogurt. Zesty lemon from the body shop. I actually really like this. I was going through my lemon kick, as you can tell with all the um, citrus uh, perfumes and stuff I have. I was going through a lemon kick last summer. And I got some of this from the body shop. And I actually really like this. I don't know what body yogurt actually is. How is it different from like body uh, butter and lotion? But it felt really good. It dried up really quick on my skin and it smelled super zesty. I really like this and I really like this consistency. So I did think about buying more, not just the zesty lemon, but the body shop has um, 
other body yogurts to try. This is my favorite. I love this Coco Shea Honey line from Bath and Body Works, y'all. This line was so amazing. And apparently I got into it super late. The last semi-annual sale that I got last year, I just found out about these. And I wish I would have known, like the lady who was um, selling it to me, my sister was telling me that, you know, this has been around for uh, three years, four years. I was like, what? I'm a, I I've never heard of this line ever. So, and I live in Illinois. So I don't know if maybe I was just lacking and I don't know, they just didn't do good promotion. But this line is amazing. I definitely want to make a Merc Mercari account just so I can buy up so many of these. The smell, like the Coco Shea honey, just all of it. It's so beautiful with the smell, the texture. Everything is great about it. And I'm so sad that I just got on and apparently it's not coming back or it's, you know, it's an exclusive type of thing. Man, I mean, the packaging, everything about this was just love. But yes, yeah, so I had to get the body butter. This is, ugh, I, I have only a little bit left in here and I refuse to use it because I do not want this to go away until I end up purchasing you know multiples of these i just am going to leave this where it is i only have a little bit left so i'm just leave that where it's at oh i got this dove whipped body cream the macadamia and rice milk i wasn't a fan of the consistency of this i mean it's very thick very thick i do like the smell the smell really did get me but i just didn't like the consistency all that much so it's not something I reach for often. This is a little bit of the uh, True Blue Shea, the True Blue Spa pomegranate one. And my sister was kind enough to let me use some. Um, I haven't really gotten into this before I moved out. Of course, I had to get my baby gingham, the whipped body butter. I love gingham so much. I love gingham so much. The smell is amazing. And so, yeah, I got the body butter. This pink rose body butter, um... I got this at a Burlington for four bucks and I haven't used it yet, but it smelled great. It was cheap and it has a lot in there and I love rose smells. So it's not going to not get used. I just haven't used it yet. So I'll check back and let you guys know how that one is. And this is just um, raw shea butter that I have. I just keep it with my body butters because it's a butter. All I got for the butters and lotions. I love butters and lotions, you know lube yourself up it made me feel good here is all my bath and body works um body creams and lotions god i have so many y'all i don't think i'm gonna sit here and go through each one like i just did all of these other ones because it's gonna take forever but some of the staples i love the rose and vanilla line the aromatherapy love i love this one so much i you know i got the body cream too because i love it like this is one of the smells i love so much comfort I don't, I, I got this peppermint <laughs> one because it was an online exclusive and I think I got it, um, I don't even know, months ago, but I have yet to actually even use this. The bottle is just so pretty. I mean, I don't want to walk around smelling like a candy cane, but the bottle, like these glass bottles are so fancy to me. I love them. So the aromatherapy line definitely is on one with this. I have some super old Victoria's Secret lotions um these are so old i know y'all are probably shaking your head the people who get the new victoria's secrets and all that and like girl what are you doing but they have such good smells and i still have so much left in them they haven't went bad or anything so girl i'm keeping them on deck until maybe i will use them one day i got a little bit of my gingham body lotion i definitely as you can see use the hell out of it I bought some more um, Bath and Body Works. You recently had a um, sale on lotions and body creams. I definitely had to pick up another one of these. Um, but honey, I la 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 gum. As you can see, my golden sunflowers. I gotta keep those on deck. I just bought a body cream, um, um, a body lotion of those because I only have body creams. I was so because I love. As you can see, I have way more body creams than anything else. So i love body creams i'm just recently finding out from people on youtube that body creams um tend to go bad faster i literally have never run into that excuse and i keep these lotions for a while 
I've never ran into a situation where my body cream has run bad. So I, I don't know. Hey, I love it. Ain't nothing finna stop me from getting these body creams. I gotta be honest. Like, I love them. Black Cherry Merlot. I didn't really like Black Cherry Merlot, to be honest with you. I did at first. I used it quite a, a, a lot. And then it just started wearing off on me. I don't know. Something was just like, okay, I'm kind of over that smell now. So, but I still have her. She's cute. Um, of course, I had to get the Coco Shea. Goodness, y'all, please bring back the Coco Shea, honey. This 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 brand is so beautiful and amazing. Like the packaging just gets me every time. But I love this, so I only have a little bit left in here too. So I'm not gonna be using that up. You're the one, of course. What is this? I got the Zen Gardens. Yeah, pink chiffon. Uh, a lot of stuff. Ooh. Let me talk about this blueberry because I got this last year. And baby, this blueberry extract line or whatever they had last year. And please ignore the crud or whatever. I fell in love because honestly, this smells so good. I This opened up my entire world to loving blueberry smells. So I definitely had to go ham when um, Bath & Body Works just released a wellness line. And they had another blueberry extract uh kind of series i had to go ham with that because this this ignited my whole world i wish i would have been on it last year when this first came out or whatever i would have gotten everything because i fell in love with blueberry smells like addicted to blueberry smells now because of this bath and body work i love it and you guys will see in the unboxing how how much <laughs> gingham my baby gingham of course back there i got this orange and ginger i don't really use that too much it's a really strong smell um of course my rosewater merengue uh, black amethyst um when i buy a spray i pretty much try to buy the matching body cream with it just so if anything if i use a different soap or anything else at least i have the spray and the body lotion to go with it so a lot of them is just stuff that i've seen up there um forest of course to match the spray uh, rose back there i love rose smell the rose smell from bath and body works smells so good so i definitely got that lotion popping like i said it's been garden um i was gifted the in the star stuff Ooh, because this is one i definitely want to repurchase this balance juniper and coriander aromatherapy body cream i love the hell out of this I don't know why I've never really, you know, been into juniper oil or coriander oil, but this together smells great. I literally can feel I only have like up to here left. It smells wonderful and I use the crap out of this. This smells really good. I really do like this juniper and cor coriander smell. Look, Twilight Woods. Like like I said, I pretty much, if I get the spray, I'll get the matching body cream. I, that's just the way I shop sometimes. Like, if I don't get the soap or whatever, I'm definitely getting the spray and the body cream. Like, that's just going to have to happen. <laughs> Those, like, that's what I'd be looking for. Like, if I like a smell, I'm going to get the body cream and the spray of it for sure. That's how you know it's official. Let's see what else I got back here. This passion, ooh, this tu tuberose and, lang and yang yang. Great. Please excuse me if I'm saying it wrong, but I do really like this smell. Um, I still got a lot in here. I've only used it a couple times, but this is a really nice smell. I really do like that. Let's see, my golden sunflower. Ah, Papaya Paradise Cove and the Underwater Oasis. I do love those. And I got the Sunrise Yoga. I wasn't a big fan of this smell. I got it for a specific reason. Um, let me see. Um, I think it was because of the juniper berry oil and the mandarin oil or something. Something made me get this and I was just like, eh. But I definitely got to stay packed with the golden sunflower. That is not going anywhere. So yeah, that's my body, body creams and lotion or body creams and body lotions here. That little area is going to get bigger. I'm probably going to have to do something because I already got this pack filled to the brim of things. So I might end up having to figure something else out because I know with these unboxings, I got a few more and I don't know how I'm going to make all this stuff fit. And down here is just like my kind of first aid kit for myself, my alcohols and medicines and just stuff for me and stuff for Solar, my cat. These are my main four right here.